Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Best friend, Hailey Bieber just did her first outing as a brand new mom. And I have to say, girl, I have been seeing some comments that we got to talk about. So first of all, um, I just want to start this video off by saying we reached 78,000, which I'm so incredibly grateful for. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I do not take it for granted at all. And I just really, really, really want to say thank you. Um, I'm very, very grateful. 80, here we come. Um, okay, so listen, right? Hailey Bieber steps out for the first time with Kylie Jenner, okay? So take a look at this and then we can talk. Ooh, best friend. Hailey Bieber has been spotted for the first time since giving birth to Jack Blues Bieber, her first outing as a new mama bear with her bestie, Kylie Jenner. Where is Stormy, baby? So first of all, Haley, girl, do you know how hot it is in LA right now, girl? I admire you, bitch, okay? The shoes, the shoes are giving. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Um, I'm so happy to see Haley Bieber out and about because, listen, a lot of new mama bears have been following me lately, which I'm so grateful. Hey, girls. And I love keeping you guys company while you're breastfeeding and, you know, you're up at all crazy hours at night. So I just love the fact that she got a moment to herself to go out. And that is something that I always try and, like, tell all of my new moms out there. You know, girl, listen take some time for you even if it's 20 minutes to watch your trashy reality tv i know of course you don't have all the nannies that you know Haley bieber has but girl if you could just get 20 minutes to yourself i highly advise it i mean i'm not a mom or anything girl not yet but you know what i mean bitch like i'm i, I look after my my messy besties new moms oh best friend listen how does she come out of a damn restaurant looking all that flat damn I, girl, listen, I wish that I could come out of a restaurant looking this flat. I cannot go to a restaurant. Listen, when I go to the fucking Cheesecake Factory, I come out of the Cheesecake Factory, I look like Octomom, bitch. How do they manage all these celebrities every single time that they come out of a restaurant? How do they not manage to get to be a little bit bloated, bitch? Seriously, girl. Like, listen, I just ate a Pop-Tart and you would think I'm about to give birth. I'm not even kidding. Also, best friend... Have you guys heard the latest conspiracies that Kylie Jenner wears face masks because, like, these celebrities know something that we don't know? Have you guys heard that conspiracy? Like, if you if you notice, like, a bunch of celebrities are, like, wearing face masks now, what does this mean? Listen, between the earthquaking, 2012 happening, bitch, uh, you know, Gypsy Rose on TikTok Live, Honey Boo Boo with a different accent. I mean, there's so many things happening on social media. And then I see that these people are wearing face masks, bitch. What is happening, girl? Anyways, you know what, bitch? I'm going to go to the Cheesecake Factory, girl, because, oh, that brown bread, bitch, that brown bread that brown bread bitch I so best friend let me tell you something okay i am so incredibly in awe of the comments that i've been reading about Haley bieber um you know it is it is it is kind of crazy we'll get into that in a little bit but um i did want to acknowledge something i said something in my video about you know that i was happy that she was out and about and have some time for herself and there was some moms who did not like that saying that you know a new a new a new mom should never leave their 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 child that early and that they should just stay with their child and you know they should uh, you know not leave the child's side for the first like months and I got some backlash. I even, you know, I even had to report a comment saying that, you know, you're you're a gay man. You don't know anything about being a mom, so stop, you know, mom shaming. Uh, I don't think I was mom shaming by saying that I was happy that she was out and about and taking some time for herself. Um, I am not a mom yet, uh, but I also do believe, I know I have a lot of new moms here who, who just had babies, which I'm so grateful for. I have been around family members who just had babies, friends who just had babies, cousins, coworkers, 
And I mean, there is no sleep. There is no time for you. You barely get to shower. And if you have an hour or two for yourself, I will be cheering that on for you because I think you desperately need it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, of course, not everybody has nannies and stuff like the Beavers allegedly do. But, you know, obviously, if you have somebody in your family who can take over for an hour or two, I don't see the issue in that. And if there is an issue and you consider it to be like mom shaming, I really do apologize, girl. It's not my intention. I just feel like a mom should have a little time for herself, you know, even if it's half an hour to shower and to just kind of remember that she is also human and not just, you know, like a, a human maker and, and a superhero and a, and a milk giver. And you know what I mean? Like, I think it's important. Um, she is getting criticized for going out this early. I don't see the issue in it. Uh, but I will leave that up to you guys, to the, the moms out there, what you think about that. Um, I also have to say, like, not everybody can afford to stay home, you know? I mean, usually, you know, moms have to go to work almost immediately nowadays, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I definitely see all of that. Well, I will say this, girl. Um, Hailey Bieber, you know, she... She is someone that I, I've been thinking a lot about her because I've been seeing, I've been seeing some stories out there about, you know, um, her, you know, faking her pregnancy and using a surrogacy and all of these things. Something I've always wondered is how come Hailey Bieber, which I believe loves a spotlight and she loves to be famous, right? This is what I believe. I wonder why she's never talked about these things. How come she's never done an interview about them? And I just can't help but wonder if she likes this negative attention. Because I will say something, best friend. If I were pregnant, right, and I had to go through all the pain and all the sacrifice and all of the sleepless nights and all of the sickness and everything that a pregnant woman goes through and some motherfuckers were telling me that I was faking my pregnancy when I'm up at four in the morning throwing up and not being able to stand up and my feet are swollen and I'm hormonal and depressed and sad and scared that I'm literally going to give birth and having to, to, to do all of this. And some losers are saying that I am having a surrogacy and I'm faking my pregnancy. You best fucking believe I'm going to speak up. Do you know what I mean? And I wonder why she hasn't spoken out. I wonder why she hasn't said something because I would just fucking go crazy. I swear to you. Um, I think that it's, uh, I think it's a little bit, uh, crazy that people still think that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I fully believe that she was pregnant. I fully believe that she gave birth. I fully believe that, you know, she deserves a night out at least an, a couple of hours to go eat with her friends. I don't see what's wrong with that, but I don't know you guys. What do you think about that? Um, I do have an exciting thing. I have a crumble cookie review uh, coming up next. Um, and I just want to say I received a comment a while ago saying that uh, thank you for standing up for, for moms. I will say this. You know, my mom is my best friend and I grew up with women. I've seen the sacrifice women make. I've seen what they go through. I see what they have to encounter on a daily I will always and forever defend and stand with women. It does not matter. And um, and that is why I fully believe that a new mom deserves at least one hour to herself. And if you have a partner or you have someone to help you that you trust, I do believe that you can take an hour. If your baby is sleeping and you 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 have, they have food and they have someone responsible watching them. I don't see an hour or an hour and a half to go out with a friend. I believe that they need it. Okay. They need it. They need, they need to go out a little bit. Um, so I will always defend him. And of course I understand about postpartum and I understand all of that. So, you know, I don't go that deep because obviously we don't know what she's going through, but, um, but I will always defend women. And, you know, even if I'm going to lose followers over that, like, I really don't care. Um, so anyways, girl, this is my crumble cookie review. I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Hello, best friend. It is crumble cookie. Sorry, bitch. I just got a lactate in my mouth. Ooh, girl. Ugh. It needs nasty. It is crumble cookie time. Okay, best friend, listen. 
I am so excited for this crumble cookie, bitch. Uh, my husband already tried them. He has his favorites, but I will tell you mine. Okay, so listen, let's start this with this tres leches that my husband says it's amazing. So I'm gonna try it, girl. I love tres leches. And he said it's pumpkin flavored, bitch. And you know I am a pumpkin hoe. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, I don't love it. No! So <clears throat> this part, the tres leches part is amazing. I just don't think I love this creamy part on top. But this part right here, that's amazing. But the, the cream, no. Oh, I don't like something from Crumble? What happened to me, bitch? Okay, in, in spirit of not liking things, I know I'm not gonna like this either, which is the lemon, the lemon cake one. I don't like citrus desserts, so, but anyways, girl, let's just try. Oh my God! Making my way downtown, walking fast, places passing, I'm homebound. Girl, it tastes delicious! What is happening? Is it opposite day, bitch? Why am I liking things that I shouldn't be liking? Girl, anyways, <laughs> this is the biscotti uh, cookie. So I've seen a lot of reviews about this one and people are like, oh, it's good. And then other people are saying, oh, it's not good, bitch. And I'm just like, girl, what in the gypsy roads is going on here? Um, hello? Is the flavor in here with us? Uh, uh, what you Crumba? You forgot to add the flavor in this cookie, bitch. It tastes like Mama June's cooking. Girl, it tastes like nothing. What the hell? Girl, I don't know if whoever made this week's crumble cookie is sexually frustrated or what the hell is going on, girl. But you did not do it this week, girl. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is the Oreo one. It is gorgeous. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 It's crispy, which is different for crumble. I like it. It tastes really, really good. Okay, this one I'm very excited about because I love peanut butter, so cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. -hmm. mm. mm. I'll make love to you like you want me to. It tastes delicious. It tastes like peanut butter. It tastes like if you woke up at four in the morning, you went to your kitchen, you grab a spoon, you just fucking deep throw that shit into your mouth, girl, you know, the peanut butter. Ooh, <clears throat> delicious. And then this is the chocolate chunk cookie, which, you know, we all had it before, girl. It is what it is. Like, this is, this is very basic. Why does Crumble Cookie always want to include this one? But it is beautiful, though. Let's try this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm going to tell you something. This week's crumble was a flop. I was, I'm sorry, girl. It was a damn flop. It, no flavors are sticking out. You know, like nothing is really happening. It is giving very basic. It is giving very much like someone needs a Red Bull. Someone needs a Red Bull creativity. Someone needs to go spend, you know, someone needs to go spend a, a night at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory because this week, girl, Crumble, I am a little disappointed in you, bitch. I really am. And I'm not trying to go all Karen on you, but I need to speak to the manager, bitch. Um, anyways, girl, that was the review. Not impressed. I'm going to give this whole review a probably a 5 out of 10. It was not great. My favorite cookie was the peanut butter. The rest, honestly, it can go bye-bye-bye. Anyways, girl, what do we think? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next review.